Virabhadrasana 2 is an excellent standing pose to learn to separate hip and leg movement from pelvic and low back mobility. Standing tall and strong at the front of the mat, take a big step back four to five feet with the right foot, turning the leg out 90 degrees so the toes point to the long side of the mat. An outside pinky toe side of the foot is parallel with the back of your mat. If the distance feels uncomfortable or painful, bring your legs closer together. With time, you will find it more comfortable to have them farther apart. Imagine a line drawn from your front left heel would intersect with the middle of the arch of the back foot. Keep the weight divided equally into all four corners of the right foot. So there is weight in the outside of the little toe, outside of the heel, and equal weight on the inside of the heel and inside of the ball of the foot of the big toe side. The front of the right thigh is contracted. The quadriceps muscle in the front of the leg drawing the kneecap up towards the pelvis. Now bend the front knee, taking the leg forward into a lunge. The knee going straight towards the toes and being mindful to keep the knee behind or over the front ankle, but not in front of the ankle. If you can't bend this far, just go as far as you can. As you become more comfortable with the pose, you'll be able to bend further. Imagine the left inseam, inner part of the thigh, is rolling outward to your left, rotating the left thigh bone in the hip socket. Staying tall with the body, take the pelvis, torso, and shoulders toward the long side of the mat, to your right. Reach your arms out to the sides of your body until they are parallel to the floor. So your left arm reaches out over your left foot and the right arm over the right foot. Extend the arms long, actively extending the fingers and hands, contracting the triceps. The neck staying long and relaxed, shoulders down and away from the ears, shoulder blades drawing down the spine. The head can stay pointed straight in line with the shoulders or can turn towards the left hand with the gaze extending out over the middle fingers of the left hand. You may feel a stretching in the back of the right calf and thigh and the inner groin of the front leg. Here is where you can intensify the pose. The legs can be wider apart and the lunge can be taken deeper into the front leg. Always be aware of the legs turning, the front leg from the inside out and the back leg staying strong, drawing the kneecap up towards the pelvis. The motions of the leg give support and lift to the pelvis.